Well, Marcus said it. You're the greatest Antwerp ever at Purdue. <laughs> what do you think of that title? Did they have a heavy crown to wear? Yeah, I mean, he said it. <laughs> he said it, not me. <laughs> but, uh, but, no, I love Coach Shep. Coach Shep's done a lot for me over the years. Uh, one of the best coaches, if not the best, that I've ever had, uh, especially in the game of football, and, you know, I, I appreciate him. So, what, I mean, you, you've done this before. You've gone through this <laughs> ceremony before, right? So, yep. but this is, this is it. This is it. There's no more COVID years for you, are there? <laughs> no, <laughs> there are no more COVID years. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird feeling, but at the same time, it's a blessing to, to get one more game in, in front of those, in front of the fans and, and with the guys that I get to play with every single day. So, it's going to be special. Has it all unfolded like you envisioned? Has, has it been more than you ever, ever anticipated since you got here way back in 2016? Yeah, I mean, it's wild that you say that. I mean, it's been a roller coaster. You know, if you would have told me how my career would have gone at Purdue, I would have never believed this. Just coming in as a running back and having a lot of great players in front of me freshman year, and then, you know, you go, you go from there to having a really good year with a new coaching staff, having to prove yourself, and then... Another really good player comes in. You gotta wait your turn a little bit. You know, do other things. Get on special teams, and then COVID hits, and then break a collarbone, break a foot, and then now we're right here. So it's pretty crazy. I mean, you look back at that first year. Jeff was Jeff's first year when he led the team in receptions. Uh, what was that? As you look back on it, what was that year like for you to to get to you know to get those passes, but also prove that that you belong. Yeah. Uh, in this system and on this roster. Yeah, I mean, I got to thank Coach Brown and Coach Shepard for believing in me to to go out there and make those plays and to put me in position to do that. Um, not too many coaches would do that, especially with a lot of other guys that we had in the room. Uh, it wasn't the fastest, wasn't the biggest, but they trusted me. Um, but it was special. I mean, we had guys that were older and, you know, might not have marquee guys, but we went out there and we just threw it around, caught passes, and ended up winning a bowl game that year. Do you remember your very first catch? I did. You yep. threw it. How many yards was it? Sindelar, was it about 20, 28 maybe? It's Louisville? Louisville, yeah. Back of the end zone. Thing was floating forever. <laughs> <laughs> What's it going to be like walking on the field with your mom and dad Saturday? Uh, it'll be it'll be different. Um, I'm sure there'll be some tears. Uh, <sighs> it's emotional, you know? Mm-hmm. What, what, what's what's next for them, Jackson Anthro? Coaching? Who knows? Uh, I know Coach Shep's been in my ear about it. Um, gonna see how far I can keep playing. So that's gonna be the first goal. Uh, and then after that, we'll see. Just I mean, David now, David Bell, top three for the Blitnikoff. Uh, just I don't know if he talks about his goals or he talks about things like that as far as what he wants to achieve but for him to be in that group and you see a, you see him every day and you work with him every day just how, how's he put himself in a position to be uh one of the top three receivers at least on this finalist list i mean david works endlessly i mean kind of like what you saw rondell rondell didn't say much and, and david really doesn't say much you know he goes out there and he proves it and you know he's a leader on this team and he's gotten this program to where it is right now so you got to give david all the credit um, he's put in the time, and coaches believe in him. All of his teammates believe in him, and you know he's he's the reason why Purdue football is kind of where it's at right now. Uh, Dave is also, I believe, 101 yards away from setting the Purdue program record for single yards in the season. Obviously, he doesn't. I'm sure he doesn't just talk about you know all the individual awards that he'd want to achieve, but just how big is it for him to have the type of season he's having uh, in conjunction with what you guys have been able to accomplish as a team this year. Yeah, I mean, he kind of set the tone, really. Just all the games that he's had against the teams that we've played. Uh, I mean, he goes out there and he shows up. You know, an old, old coach said, you do or you don't. And more often, he does. So just going up there and making plays, making contested catches, and just keeping us going in a lot of games. And you're going to be in the record books one of the top 20 all-time receivers with all those names, Standiford, Dorian Bryant, you know, Steve Griffin, Taylor Stubblefield. It's going to be Jackson Anthony there. I mean, that's... It's got to be, a, I guess, a thrill beyond belief, too. Yeah, I mean, those are those are Purdue legends, and I mean, it's an honor to do that. And you know, it's just something that kind of comes, but at the same time, if 
that doesn't happen without the coaches that I've had and the, the quarterbacks that I've had over the years and just going out there and working every single day. Okay, you didn't play the bucket game last year. You get to play it this year. So what uh, kind of what are your thoughts going into this this game on Saturday? I think it's going to be fun. I mean, it's sold-out crowd once again. So everybody's looking forward to that. And, you know, a lot of families going to be in town for Thanksgiving. But, you know, last time to play the rival, you know, a lot of people are going to say look at their record, but it doesn't matter when it comes to rivalry games. I mean, they got a lot of guys that play hard, and, you know, they probably have some guys coming back from injury. So they play hard. Coach Allen gets them ready to go, and, you know, it's going to be a battle. We're going to we're gonna have to bring our best. We, obviously, you grew up around here. You understand the, the Purdue-Indiana rivalry in the bucket. This, but what, what's your first memory of even knowing about the bucket? Uh, I mean, heck, it goes like a long time back. I remember Dad would always be down at St. Lawrence doing some sort of basketball tournament and doing that, and he'd always have his old office where he turned the TV around so everybody could see out of the old ticket booth, and I'd just be sitting there watching it and seeing, you know, Corey Sheets have big games on there and didn't even pay attention to everything going on. I was little, but I'd sit there and watch the bucket game, and everybody would rush the field, and it's a cool experience. It's really cool. Thanksgiving is this Thursday. You got a favorite dish you're looking forward to? Mac and cheese, mashed potatoes? Usually the turkey. Turkey's usually pretty good. Go to. Classic. Go to. It's always a classic. Some people do ham. Old turkey guy. <laughs>